Let's move on now. The United States has said that India would not be violating its sanctions against Russia by purchasing discounted Russian oil. This comes after Russia offered India to buy crude oil and other commodities at a discounted price. All this a week after the U.S. banned all Russian energy imports. Our message to, to any country continues to be that uh, obviously abide by the sanctions, uh, but that we, we have put in place and recommended. Uh, I don't believe this would be violating that. The U.S. recognizes that India is heavily dependent on Russia for arms, ammunition, missiles and fighter jets. In recent weeks, U.S. officials have said that they would like India to distance itself from Russia as much as possible. India is the world's third largest oil consumer and importer. It imports 80% of its oil, out of which 2 to 3% comes from Russia. Russia's Deputy Prime Minister Alexander Novak spoke with India's Petroleum Minister Hardipuri last week and Moscow released a statement which said that Russia is keen to increase its oil and petroleum product exports to India. It also mentioned that Russian oil and petroleum product exports to India have approached $1 billion. When the United Nations held a vote to condemn Russian aggression in Ukraine, India abstained from the vote. I join others in thanking Under Secretary General Martin Griffiths and UNICEF oh. Executive Director Catherine Russell for their briefings. The worsening situation in Ukraine and ensuing humanitarian crisis deserve. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.